let's stop prejudging and maybe start caring. We, we all prejudge with, with everything. Now you see me this morning, you're like, oh, it looks like Curtis just woke up. Look at his hair. It's a freaking mess. <laughs> if I was Brad Pitt, then that would be the new style. Everybody be wearing their hair like this tomorrow. In fact, I've seen them on movies like this. I'm like, dang, their hair looks good. <laughs> I see mine. I'm like, well, my hair's a mess. <laughs> you see this thing in the background, whatever it's called. You're like, well, Curtis must use that to help his kickboxing. Prejudgment. Um, I don't. That was the intention when I bought it 10 years ago. But it just ends up being a coat rack. Sorry, it hurts my hands when I hit that thing. <laughs> but, so, but I'm talking about people, really. Um, there, there's this guy that walks by my, my new store every single day. And he looks like a crackhead. I mean, he really does. A prejudgment. I do it, too. Every day he walks by, he goes, what's up, man? It just keeps on. He doesn't try to bum a cigarette. He doesn't try to ask for money. He doesn't try to ask for food, nothing. He just walks on by. So one day, I needed a lot of help painting. I said, hey, man, come here just a second. He's like, oh, what the, you know, you could tell he was a little worried. I said, do you know how to paint or do construction or any general labor? He goes, dude, I can do anything. I'm like, okay. So I brought him in. Oh, that was uh, almost two months ago now. He's been working for me ever since. And he showed up every single day, on time. The things that's happened to him in his past has caused him to be what he is today. But what was pretty cool, one morning he came up and he goes, hey, uh, I told my girlfriend, you know, that I'm working with you, and she looked you up on Facebook and noticed that you, you helped train entrepreneurs. He goes, that's amazing because I've got this great idea. He said, I can't believe. I, I've never gone after it, never even told anybody about my idea because nobody around me would even care, and they would think that I was stupid. He said, I'm hoping that you don't. So he told me his idea. And it was fantastic. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, man, Okay. I'll help you with this. Every day we're going to, you know, we'll spend 10 minutes on this. And uh, I said, matter of fact, why don't you go home and write down all, all the ideas. Um, he doesn't know how to do a business plan, but I gave him just the basic steps to it. And uh, he's like, okay, that's overwhelming. <laughs> but he came back the next day with 21 pages of ideas on how he was going to implement them. He's 45 years old. But this is the longest job he's ever held, by the way. I take him to a store, and sometimes I let him go in first, just because he's fast, <laughs> faster than I am. I notice everybody watches him like a hawk, you know? And then there's this one guy I noticed watching him. He's following him around the store. And uh, I went up and I asked for something. I said, hey man, can you help me find this, blah, blah, blah. He goes, yeah, I'm just watching this dude. Uh, I'll help you just a second. I was like, uh, that, 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 that guy's with me. He's like, oh, dude, I mean, I'm sorry, man. He said, I just thought, I was like, I know what you thought. I know, I know what you thought. He's not stealing. He may look like he is, but he's not. Because the guy prejudged. But then for some reason, when he found out he's with me, his whole opinion changed. I don't know why, because I'm not the, the model citizen, okay? <laughs> but maybe I dressed a little better. Uh, of course, maybe I, my hair looked a little better that day. I, so they prejudged twice, prejudged him, and they prejudged me. Luckily, they prejudged me in, in a, a better light, but that's, that's bad. Either way, prejudging. <laughs> Start caring. This guy told me the other day, he said, this is the best thing that's happened to me since I was 10 years old. He's been able to work with me. People still ask me, man, why do you let that guy work with you? He said, kind of a shady. I was like, I don't know, he looks that way. And he has been, you know, in the past. Yeah, he's done a lot of bad things. But who hasn't? All I know is he hasn't with me. And maybe because I treat him like a freaking human being. Maybe I treat him with respect. 
Maybe I put a little trust in him. I, and I'm not tooting my own horn. It's all him. I, I'm just giving him an opportunity. And I hope that you are able to give somebody an opportunity today. Because they need it. You may save somebody's life. You may save somebody's marriage. You may, you may help somebody become, you know, the next, who knows, Einstein, the next Oprah Winfrey, the next Steven Spielberg. Somebody walking down the road that you think is just some lazy bum, maybe, just maybe, if you give them a chance and you care for them, they'll change your life. It's possible. Because we really were all born of greatness and for greatness. Now, man, let's, let's go prove it. There's so many ways. Have a great day.